everybody. Welcome to my yarn car. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek. And I'm coming to you today from the parking lot of the Lead Center. It's right back there at the University of Kansas. The Lead Center, for those of you who don't know, probably most of you, is the Performing Arts Center at the University of Kansas. Um, the reason I'm here is because I'm out running errands. <sighs> there are too many boys at home in the house to reasonably be able to make a video. And also my yarn room is in disarray right now because I'm getting ready for Christmas, which is the topic of this video. Countdown to Christmas. Ta -da! I'm so excited. Christmas is my favorite time of year. Actually, this time of year right now between Thanksgiving and Christmas is the best time of year ever because the days keep getting shorter. It keeps getting colder and everybody just really seems to be in a good mood, which I mean, I love. Don't like, don't like not being in a, like a happy mood. <laughs> or, you know, at least a good mood. But, um, yeah, I got my little, my little fluff ball hat right there. And I guess since today is Whip Wednesday, I would like to show you what I'm making. Okay, so I made, hopefully, a, a, Instagram worthy enough picture to post on Instagram, but I'll show you what my whip is right now, my current whip. And it is, oh, holy moly. Hold on, Joseph, sir. I'm back. That was my son on the phone. There goes a guy riding a skateboard. That guy's like my age. You know, I didn't even know that guys my age still rode skateboards. <laughs> You get all sorts of things at the University of Kansas. Let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you out of the car right now, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now on the outside of the car. And then we'll come back to the inside of the car, and I can show you stuff that I've been working on. Okay, so there's the lead center. That's where a lot of concerts are and stuff like that. That is north. I'm turning this way, looking at the dorms that are on top of the hill, that's looking east. And then turn around this way. There's really like nothing but trees. There's some buildings over there, but you can't see them. That's the west where the sun is sitting, setting. And there's the guy with the skateboard getting into his truck over there. And there's the yard car. Okay, so <laughs> that's what the scenery is like here. Um, whoops, let me take my keys off, put them back in the car. Oops, nope, not yet. I want to show you what I've been working on. This is the sweater, the cardigan that I'm working on. And as you can see, I've got part of the sleeve done. It's about maybe a quarter of the sleeve is about a quarter of the way done. And then I need to put another sleeve on this side. And then I've got the sweater part done and make the lapel and the edging. <sighs> Weave in ends. I love the sparkles. Do you love the sparkles? Look how sparkly that is. I don't know if you can see the sparkles real well. I think you can. I'm so happy with these sparkles. This is the new cardigan by Evelyn and Peter. And I will model it for you when I am done. Um, okay, got that going on. Then I've got my bag of Christmas goodies. I've got a whole bunch of uh, things that I'm really finished with. Oh, here. This is a hat that I started like, a year and a half ago and I'm almost finished with it it's this hat right here this is what it's gonna look like um I just gotta close the top there and I'm done 
it's uh oh there comes a dude that's running a runner okay i've got this much of the hat done and then i got to put a ball on it and this guy's looking at me like what the hell's going on <laughs> and then there he goes you can see him <laughs> I have to bleep that out but yeah I love this hat I just need to finish it and then I'll probably put like a little ball on the top this is a hat designed by that I um I actually made a couple of these hats it's designed by uh Liz's Indiana Liz's Indiana attic I think that's I think that's the right um from Instagram and I'm going to finish this up and model it for you, but I'm in love with it. The other one I already gave to, no, I made, I think I made two of these hats and I gave the other two to other people, but here's what it looks like. It's like a pine tree pattern. So there's that. Um, what else have I made? I made, ooh, I made a stocking. This is no pattern except my own. I made this pattern. And if I could ever find myself able to write up a pattern, I would write up the pattern for this, but you know. There's that stocking. Now this stocking, they kind of look the same, but that's a different stitch on that stocking. And it's bigger. This one is um, Sorella. The pattern by Sorella, except I used, see this one right here is exactly by the pattern. And I use the eye hook and with a 5.5 millimeter hook and four weight yarn. And this one I used, um, let's see, six weight yarn and an L hook. So that's the difference that the weight of a yarn and the size of a hook can make. Quite a bit of difference. So I like that. I like that comparison. I like being able to see the difference between, um, you know, when you use a different weight yarn and a different size hook. It makes a huge difference. <sighs> Let's see what else. Also got, ooh, here's an exciting one. <laughs> this is a stocking. Let me see if you can see that. I love this stocking. It is, I think it's called the Victorian stocking. I'll have to get the exact name of the pattern by Sincerely Pam. Um, I got this pattern a little over a year ago and I am in love with it. Isn't that pretty? I use the, uh, I used Karen yarn. Um, this is the, let's see, the party. Karen Simply Soft Party Yarn. I think that's what this, that gray with the sparkles is called. And then this is just Karen Simply Soft. Uh, I think that's, it's just Karen Simply Soft, a variegated or colors. Um, yeah, so this is the first time I've made this pattern and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's see, one more thing. I wanted to show you I found out that I'm having a granddaughter my daughter told me they just couldn't wait to find out what the baby was going to be so it's going to be a girl and I'm working on a little Christmas sweater for her for next year for next Christmas so here's how far I've gotten so far and then I ran out of yarn and then I decided to go get some more yarn but it's at home it's not in the bag here so i'm gonna finish this too <laughs> Ooh, it could be a little hat it could be one of those ponytail hats but really small 
So anyway, countdown to Christmas. I've also got, there's, there's a lot more stockings in this bag that I finished up, but I won't show all of them to you. What I'll probably do is tomorrow I'll make another video and I'll show you guys all of the stockings and everything that I've been making. <laughs> so I will put uh, where I got the patterns and um, all the information that I think that needs to go <laughs> in the description. And there, if there's anything else you guys um, want to know, just put it in the comments and I will answer either in the comments or add it to the description. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful December 2nd. I know I am getting excited for Christmas. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, man. Hope we're together with you. No, no. Okay, driving the car tonight, so... This is so bad. I'm like on the road. But this is kind of cool. You can see everything. I'm not a traffic hazard because I'm on the road. What time is it? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through Starbucks. I'm going to get coffee. And I will put up, I will put up the camera there. And the drive through. through of Starbucks and I'm waiting in line. I would say I am the one, two, three, four, fifth person in line. Are you ordered? I got a medium coffee with whole milk in it. Uh, and I'm just waiting. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> oh gosh, that guy at the at the center was totally looking at me like I was told. Like, who's this person? Okay, I guess that's enough of that. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my yarn car. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek, and I am coming to you today from the Lead Center. It's right back there on the University of Kansas. I've got some dorms over there. I had to get out of the house because I can't make any videos in the house. It's still like that. <laughs> that's okay. I just go drive around town and, like, make a video wherever I can. Um, usually it's my driveway, but it's a little too shady in my driveway right now. So, 